so next topic uh, we are discussing today is two dimensional rotation this is the second one in the last class we had seen what is two dimensional translation and in this class we will be seeing what is two dimensional rotation okay that means you are rotating a point at a particular angle so the given point here p is x comma y and this point you want to rotate it at a new angle and after rotation the new point will be p dash x dash comma y dash so p is the old point and after rotation it will be p dash x dash comma y dash so p and p dash is in two dimensional that is x and y so as p is having x comma y that is x coordinate and y coordinate this you will take it as x and this you will take it as y okay so this will become a triangle now that is p x comma y this will consider as a triangle and for this triangle will give the angle as alpha okay and for the new point p dash this i'll take it as y dash and this part i'll take it as x dash and for this triangle will give the angle as theta okay so p x comma y this is the triangle its angle is alpha p dash x dash comma y dash this is y dash this is x dash angle is theta okay so one thing you all have to keep in mind is the distance from the p to origin is r okay and after rotation that is when you come to p dash here also the distance from p dash to the origin should be r that means before rotation and after rotation the distance should be same that is from p to origin p dash to origin the distance should be same okay and this particular point is the point of rotation that means at this point you are rotating okay and this point we will indicate it as xr comma yr and this point is known as rotation point or pivot point that is the point at which you all are rotating that object so let's see what is being written initially the point is at px comma y okay initially the point it has px comma y if you want to move the point to p dash x dash comma y dash in the anti clockwise direction then the distance from the point to the origin should be same that is r that means if you are moving a point to a new point that is p dash you are rotating it and you are rotating it in anti clockwise they are saying that the distance from this point and this point it should be r next thing and the point of rotation xr comma yr is known as rotation point or pivot point that means this point is known as rotation point or pivot point we need to find p dash x dash comma y dash from p x comma y that is p x y will be given you'll have to find out p dash x dash comma y dash so we'll be seeing how to find out p x uh, p dash x dash y dash from p x y given this two triangles okay so what we have to do is first let us consider this triangle okay that is this p y x and this angle alpha for this triangle let us find out what is cos alpha according to mathematical term we know what is cos cos of a particular angle is nothing but adjacent divided by hypotenuse now what is adjacent divided by hypotenuse here adjacent is r and hypotenuse is x oh no no adjacent is x and hypotenuse is r okay so adjacent is x hypotenuse is r okay for which triangle this triangle that means you consider this triangle here that is adjacent divided by hypotenuse okay so what will that be cos alpha in textbook uh, they have used this phi if you want you'll use this phi otherwise you'll use it as alpha so cos alpha is nothing but adjacent divided by hypotenuse so what will that be x divided by r 
okay and by this it implies that x is equals to r cos alpha x is equals to r cos alpha so we all have found out a new equation for x by finding out cos alpha of this triangle okay now same way we will also find a new equation for y so how you all have taken cos for x for y we will take sin that means sin alpha so what is the formula for sin alpha sin alpha is opposite divided by hypotenuse so what is opposite here opposite is y and what is hypotenuse hypotenuse is r so sin alpha is opposite divided by hypotenuse which is y divided by r so this implies that y is equals to r sin alpha so y is equals to r sin alpha so we will have found out new equation for x and y by finding out cos alpha and sin alpha now we will have found out x and y same way we will find out x dash and y dash so x dash and y dash you all have to consider this triangle okay that is x dash is this y dash is this but angle you all have to consider both that is theta plus alpha because this entire triangle is considering of this both angles that is theta plus alpha so for this triangle now we'll find out cos and sine okay so now next find x dash how to find x dash for x dash we'll take cos cos of theta plus alpha cos of theta plus alpha so what is cos theta plus alpha cos formula is adjacent divided by hypotenuse so what will be cos theta plus alpha it is adjacent what is adjacent adjacent x dash divided by hypotenuse that is r so cos theta plus alpha is equals to x dash divided by r so this implies that x dash is equals to r cos theta plus alpha okay so r cos theta plus alpha this is nothing but cos a plus b as we know the formula for cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so what you have to do this formula you will apply it for cos theta plus alpha and instead of a b use theta and alpha so what it will be cos theta cos alpha minus sin theta sin alpha so instead of cos theta plus alpha you will put this formula now for this entire thing you will apply r okay take r inside so what it will happen r cos theta cos alpha minus r sin theta sin alpha now we will have got this out of this we know that r cos alpha is nothing but x by this formula r cos alpha is nothing but x so instead of r cos alpha write it as x and what remains cos theta so this becomes x cos theta here we know that r sin alpha is nothing but y from the previous equation of x and y so instead of r sin alpha you all write it as y and what remains sin theta so what is the formula for x dash x dash formula is x cos theta minus y sin theta okay now next we'll find out what is y dash y dash same way how you all have taken sin for y same way for y dash also we'll take sin but again it will be both the angles that is theta and alpha now what is the formula for sin theta plus alpha opposite divided by hypotenuse so what is for this triangle what is opposite opposite is y dash and what is hypotenuse r so what it will be sin theta plus alpha is equals to opposite divided by hypotenuse and what is opposite y dash divided by r and this implies that y dash is y dash is equals to r sin theta plus alpha take this this side so what comes y dash is equals to r sin theta plus alpha now this is nothing but sin a plus b okay 
how you all had like this cos a plus b you know same way you all have now sin a plus b so well extended okay now what is y dash y dash is equals to r this is sin theta plus alpha's formula so what is that r cos theta sin alpha plus cos alpha sin theta okay now take r inside r cos theta sin alpha plus r cos alpha sin theta now according to those previous equations we know that r sin alpha is nothing but y so what remains cos theta and r cos alpha is nothing but x so r sin alpha y r cos alpha x so what remains y cos theta plus x sin theta okay so y dash you take it as this you take it to the side x sin theta plus y cos theta okay so what was x dash x dash was x cos theta minus y sin theta and what is y dash y dash is x sin theta plus y cos theta so now we'll write them in matrix form so x dash y dash is nothing but p dash matrix form means in terms of rows and columns so this is nothing but p dash x dash y dash is equals to we have used cos theta sin theta so write it like this cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta and write p's coordinate what was p's coordinate x y so how to write this x dash is equals to take this row take this column so what it will be x dash is equals to x cos theta minus y sin theta okay we know that x dash is equals to x cos theta minus y sin theta so what it will be x dash is equals to x cos theta minus y sin theta and what is y dash y dash is equals to x sin theta plus y cos theta okay so x sin theta plus y cos theta this thing only so this i will replace it with p dash this matrix i'll take it as r okay and the angle you will take it as theta dot p dot means you have to perform multiplication okay so p dash is equals to r of theta dot p so this is the equation for rotation same we had one equation for translation the same uh, equation for rotation also let us consider an example okay so what is there in the example they have given the point 4 comma 3 old point is given 4 comma 3 and you want to rotate it with the angle theta is equals to 45 degrees so you have to find out what is p dash p dash is nothing but x dash comma y dash okay so how to what is the formula for x dash x dash is nothing but x cos theta minus y sin theta what is x here 4 cos theta what is theta 45 degrees write that minus how much is y y is 3 and what is sin theta sin 45 degrees 4 into what is cos 45 1 by root 2 minus 3 into what is sin 45 degrees into 1 by root 2 so 4 by root 2 minus 3 by root 2 what is that 1 by root 2 so x dash is nothing but 1 by root 2 same way you will consider y dash y dash formula i had got it as uh, y cos theta plus x sin theta but we changed it we brought this this side and this this side so what is the formula now x sin theta plus y cos theta so what is x x is 4 sin 45 degrees plus y is how much 3 3 cos 45 degrees this time it is addition last time it was subtraction now it is addition so 4 into sin 45 degrees is 1 by root 2 plus 3 into 1 by root 2 so what it is 4 by root 2 plus 3 by root 2 is equals to 7 by root 2 so x dash is 1 by 2 root 2 y dash is 7 by root 2 so old coordinate was p 4 comma 3 after rotation new coordinates will be p dash 1 by root 2 comma 7 by root 2 okay so this was about two dimensional rotation 
along with the problem example.